Most people think of information technology as a positive thing for third world people. They see people with cell phones on camel. The IT revolution is part and parcel of corporate globalization. And you see a lot of people um, protesting against globalization in various countries. And we tend to think, gee, why, why are they so upset? And I believe my book shows one of the reasons why people may feel disaffected from globalization. The internet impacts the lives of people worldwide tremendously. It changes how they communicate, what they buy, and what solidarities they develop. Therefore, people worldwide should be involved in deciding how the internet is used and how online communication is regulated. But that hasn't happened. Many of its rules were made by corporations and by governments whose primary motive was corporate well-being at the cost of third world citizens' rights to participate in the rulemaking processes that came to shape their lives. Why is this important? I'm starting from the premise that every human being um, has a need for freedom and that freedom can be realized by participating in common decisions. So the participation in common decisions is an essential aspect of any fair and just political process. Egypt has a very unjust political process because all Egyptians are excluded from decisions. Decisions in Egypt are made by the Mubarak government, by its economic supporters. If you have, when you have dictatorships or authoritarian systems, there always, there's always a small clique that really gets the best deal, and that's what happened here. And I believe my book shows one of the reasons why we need democracy, digital democracy, global democracy, now.